May this video bring glory and honor to Father God, Lord Jesus, Joshua Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit of Rakadesh. Um, I make this video, and the purpose that I'm making it is it's all to glorify Father God. It's not to glorify one person. We all just, you know, that's all, you know, that's all we are. We're just servants. So I don't make this video to bring glory to a person. But only Father God telling of the wonderful things that he does. I titled this Amina, Amina the um, testimony of Amina, the uplifter. Because this really uplifted me, man. It was a joy. You know, when I do my videos, every one, you know, I share what I need to share. But I like uplifting people, encouraging people. That's all I seek to do. Nothing else. Not to show I'm a great man or I'm wise or this or that. Not to glorify myself at all. But, you know, to glorify our Father God. May it bring comfort to him. With every video and everything that I do and everything I ask you all to do, brothers and sisters in Christ, is not to bring glory to me, but to take away from Father God's heartache. Take away from Jesus' heartache that, you know, the pains they go through. Make it easier to deal with. If Jesus had, you know, if... You know, when, when it comes to Jesus, Jesus is, you know, he is love and he is power. You know, Jesus can, you know, is, you know, Jesus, you know, he takes our burdens. And I realized, you know, as he takes them, imagine someone walking with hundred pound dumbbells in both hands. They ain't going to walk that fast. They, they using the strength they got because they carry in the burdens. But when it comes to Jesus, I do everything and I share everything I share with you, brothers and sisters in Christ, to take away from their burdens. Where, if, you know, where Jesus is still going to continue to have burdens, you know, continue to have them holes in his hand. I just want to make his burdens light. And I ask you all to do the same because you make it light. And where Jesus had in his hand, two hundred in his hand, a hundred pound dumbbell in each hand. When I do everything I do for the glory of God and I ask you to do the same. That 100 pounds turned to 10 pounds, and that 10 pounds turned to 5, and that 5 turned to 2.5. That's the purpose of everything I share here and now. And, you know, and, and in the same way, that's what, I, you know, the purpose that I do it for Father God. Um, where, you know, they're going to carry what they carry because that's what they carry. But where it's light, where it's no, why they carry what they carry and they, gotta, and they do what they got to do, where it's no more than. They're just carrying uh, two and a half pound dumbbells, you know, just carrying something like this, just in both hands. While they still got a, a load to carry, just where it's light and they carrying this. That's the purpose of it. That's the purpose of what I do. That's what I do. And this uplifted me. And I'm going to tell you. Um, I, I tell you this, brothers and sisters in Christ, I've been coming under attack a lot. And Jesus has been putting to me, Raymond, everything you've been doing, you know, you're getting souls, you know, it's getting souls out of the kingdom of hell. Souls that were, that were damned, souls that were atheists, souls that were in the place of the dead. You, you, you know, Satan's losing souls because of you. People are coming to me because of you. You're comforting because of you. And I'm going to speak of that, about that in another video. Um, and I'm going to call that one the friendship. I um, you know, but in this um, you know, and so I would come under spiritual attack a lot. I tell you, um, and it just get boring. Like yo, just give it a rest, man. Just give it a rest, yo. Give it a rest. Like you know, what I'm saying that's just how I treat. Like and and I just wonder what it be like for the angels. Like when they, like when they do what they do, and it's like when they be fighting. Like the demons know they ain't gonna win. So it's like yo, come on, man. Just give it a like, come on, man. Yo, we beat the crap out of you, send you on your way. Beat the crap. You come, we beat the crap out of you again, send you on your way. You come, we beat the crap out of you again, we send you on your way. When you come, we beat the crap. It's like, yo, come on, man. Just just give it a rest. Just, just, and like, I'm shocked if they don't just be like, yo, you already know I'm going to give you the business, so why don't you just give it a rest? And that's just kind of how it is for them. You know, and so anytime I come under attack, it's not like, they're getting through this defense. No. I'm being tested. 
they step aside and 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 I and I go through some sort of you know spiritual like attack. Why do I say that? Is because I can, and what, and I know I'm doing glory to God. Man, I know I'm serving Jesus. I know I'm making them happy. I know I'm doing. I know I'm y'all. I know He pleads because I would come under attack in this way where it's like you know what I'm saying like and and I know. And 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 Jesus was like it's out of desperation because brothers and sisters in Christ, the demons have a deadline to meet. Like this time, there was one time when I was living in my dad's house, I looked and I was walking up and I seen this giant demon. He was pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth, and and, and he was like he was worrying about something. And Jesus told me, Ray, that demon had a deadline to meet. To get you to sin doing this or to get you to do that. And when you didn't do it, it was going to get scorned. Like, you know, Satan scorns them. You know, and if you don't sin, like a wearingly sin, like, you know what I'm saying? Like this amount of time or this time or they got a deadline to me and the enemy scorns them. They doing everything in their power to get you to sin because they got a deadline to meet. And if they don't meet it, Satan scorn them. It's like, it, it, he, he grind me, man. Like, he don't care about them. He like, straight up, like, as I say this, he could probably just, like, yeah, you're right. I don't care about them. And piss on one of the demons' face. And all they can do is just, like, stand there. And then he say, yeah, go ahead and do this. <laughs> Nothing. Like, they, they pee on straight up. And, um, <laughs> like, straight up. Like, that's just what they is. You know, he don't care nothing about them. Don't care about the damn. He tortures, like, he not only does Satan torture the damn, it's like he tortured the demons too. Like, you know, like he got nothing better to do. Like, yeah, I got nothing better to do. Hey, let me torture you. I got nothing better to do. Just because he likes it. And so, when I come under attack, it's just no more than, yup, it's a time of testing. And so, the reason why I say this. Is because the reason why I'm saying this is because they got a deadline to meet. Brothers and sisters in Christ, like if you know, Jesus is patient with you. Like if you sin, Jesus not you know, people think Jesus like, hey, I'm Jesus. I like, you know what I'm saying, I like bringing people into my kingdom. I like basketball. I like comedy movies. I like sending people to hell. No. That's what people make him out to be, is this person that like to send people to hell he, and he ain't. You know, like, and he's patient with you. When you fight against your flesh and when you fight in to come out of your flesh to serve Jesus, he see it, man, and he's patient with you. Because this is a sinful, corrupted nature we in. And so, the reason why I say that is because if you wonder why you come under attack like this or why it's it's like or you or you, you it's like this or it's like that it's because they got a deadline to meet and when they don't meet it they get tormented i'll tell you amina's testimony she called me she told me ray i have a testimony to share i was in you know she was um in her bed and before she knew it, she was just standing up in her room. And she seen this demon, and it was like acting like it was hiding from her. And one time she was like, I see you, so why don't you just go ahead and come out? I see you. I know where you are. Just go ahead and come out, man. And when it came out, it was like, when, when, it, when it came out, it was like, I couldn't explain it, but when it came out, it was like it, it came to her and it was like kind of fearful and it was like hey you know i i gotta get you to sin i gotta take you to hell or i'm gonna get punished you know i gotta take you to hell and i'm trying to get you to sin you're not sinning i'm doing everything in my power to get you to sin and just just you know and you know i'm gonna go to you know it's like i gotta get you to go to hell if i don't get you to go to hell satan's gonna scorn me just a little demon and it was saying this to her and before she knew it the scene changed and she was in the place of the dead and she seen the fire, the pit of fire. And I could see it, like, as she was telling me, like, she turned to her left. And she saw the pit of fire. And souls just screaming, screaming, like, 
you know, just from the torment, you know, and um, and 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 they couldn't get out. They were trying to get out. They couldn't get out. You know, it was like something was keeping them there. And and then this demon was like looking. It was like it it was it was like looking at this cell and it was like, hey, would you please go in here? Would you please? Please, just for me, just because Satan going to score me if I don't get you in the cell. Can you please just get in the cell? She's like, what? I ain't getting in this cell. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's going to be happening. Like, really? You expect me to just really go in it? Like, yo, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just going to go to hell because you're asking me kindly because you're going to get beat. Like, really? Really? And when she told me this, I just laughed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, please, could you just go to hell for me? Because I'm going to get beat. And that's all he's going to do is beat me. So can you go to, like, really? What? And, um, and I'm like, what? Didn't know what to say about it, you know? And I was just like, and then it's like, as it did, you know, she was like, I'm not going in this. It's just, and then something about her where she had these wings these heavenly wings on her and and she was like I'm not I belong to Jesus and I'm a child of Jesus and Jesus you know saying Jesus is my Lord and I belong to him and when she when he said that she was like in Jesus name get get out of here and when she said that it's like Jesus left lifted her up and took her out of that place and the demon scattered and was scared Brothers and sisters in Christ, you ain't aware of this. But the truth of the matter is this. They fear you. They mess with you here and now. But the truth is they fear you. When you come into your glorified body, demons that you would be scared of, they would quench in fear of you. My brothers, my sisters in Christ, I share this with you. I share the testimony of Amina, the uplifter. And 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 her words flashed in her mind. You know, no, my 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 words so was flashing in mind when I said they have a deadline to meet. I tell you that. Be uplifted. Be encouraged. When it comes to them, like the demons, it's like, if you just lived in sin, you probably wouldn't even come under attack like that. Or be messed with like that, because they already got you, they ain't thinking about you. But when you walk in the Lord, they got nothing. And they worry. Because, and, and, and this is what she said, you know, she, she was like, Satan... You know, it's just like, he's like, he, he can't get you. He can't get you, you know what I'm saying? He's like, he's he's really worrying and he's really like angry with us because he can't get you. We can't get you to go to hell. We can't do it. We can't get you to go to hell. We can't get you to live in sin. I share that. Be uplifted just so you can know what you're dealing with. All right.